After returning from Korea as a black belt, I began to travel the East Coast tournament circuit, karate tournament circuit. And I was very fortunate in that when I went to a tournament in Detroit, I ran into Chuck Norris. Now Chuck, of course, was on the West Coast from the LA area, and I was from New York, and Niagara Falls, but he and I struck a really good bond at the time because we had both trained in Korea, we had both gotten our black belts in Korea. There was a big difference though when I saw Chuck competing. Uh, I'd never seen anyone use the combinations that he did. And as I spoke with Chuck, he let me know that number one, uh, and I knew it, the Koreans were a very hilly country and it was not uncommon to see a, a man with a two or three hundred pound hog over his shoulders walking it to market and with all of this hilly country their legs were incredible so when the koreans developed their form of martial arts which was called tang sudo at the time they, which means the emperor's fighting hand the uh, koreans they had this great big strength in their legs. It was just incredible. Now, by contrast, the Japanese style martial artists are much more aggressive. Maybe it was their nature, I don't know. But the Japanese were primarily situated on the west coast. And so when Chuck returned from Korea, he learned the Korean kicking techniques, but the Japanese instructors they all used a more aggressive style with their, all of their hands. So Chuck was the man who really developed a very unique, what is now known today as the American style of martial arts. And when I met Chuck and I saw him uh, competing and fighting, I was really, really amazed and very much impressed. But he and I hit it off well as just man to man. And he mentioned to me one time at a tournament, he said, if you should ever decide to come to California, I think we could work really well together. And to this day, I really don't know exactly why I did it, but one day I jumped on a Greyhound bus, came to California and said, Chuck, I'm here. And uh, he was as, as surprised as he could possibly be, but pleasantly surprised. At that time, Chuck was uh, interested in developing a chain of karate schools in the Southern California area and he had one school in Sherman Oaks and he, in which he was partners with a gentleman named Bob Wall who's another great martial artist. Anyway, um, Chuck asked me if I would take over and teach at that one school, which I did and I learned the Chuck Norris system, um, which I have to say was the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, but. Uh, it is now called American Karate and Chuck does not get the credit that he deserves for having developed what is now the real American system of martial arts.